Hi beautiful, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be talking about Glow by Auric, which is that new brand that Samantha Ravindel came out with. I bought two of the eyeshadows. I bought a Glow Lust, of course, and I will not only be applying it today in video, but I'll also be comparing it to the Hollywood Flawless Filter from Charlotte Tilbury. Those are two very comparable products, and I wanted to see exactly what the difference are between the two. Besides that, I also wanted to tell you guys about the new lipstick that I'm wearing, so stay tuned for all of that if you guys are excited for the video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up before you leave. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new here. I would love to have you on board. And so with all of that said, let's go ahead and get started. I'm super excited to review um, the Auric brand and I'm super excited to compare this luminizer to the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. But before we get there, let's start by just appreciating this packaging. <laughs> this is the box that Glow Lost comes in and oh my goodness, do I love it. I really love this vibe, the types of colors, the foiled gold letters with the little detail. I also bought two out of three eyeshadows and the packaging, I mean, just stunning. The colors that I bought were the color temper and the color eagle the one i skipped on was the like gold bronzy shade because i feel like that's the most common one so i grabbed the one that i thought i would like best which is temper which is like a rose gold type of shade and then eagle because i just wanted to branch out and do something different and eagle just looked and sounded different enough for me if you guys want to see me using eagle make sure you go to my instagram and check out my instagram reel that i did um, and you can see how I used it and um, how it looked. I really liked it. Um, so this is not the first time I'm trying these products. It's going to be the second time. And I want to do a side-by-side -side comparison between Glow Lost and Hollywood Flawless Filter so that we can see the differences. This is the packaging for Glow Lost, which I absolutely love. Glass bottle, the detail on the cap. Let me show you guys. The detail on the cap is so freaking beautiful. I definitely love the whole aesthetic of the brand. And as far as price versus what you get in the product, this is $45 and you get 1.18 ounces. This is $44 and you get one ounce. So price wise, they are very comparable. Packaging is very different. Um, Auric has a pump, so it's a little bit more sanitary, especially if you do makeup on other people. Um, because Hollywood Flawless Filter has a wand in it and so this one you would have to just use for you personally or at work what we do is we take the wands off and we just use um, q-tips or just something else to get the product out of these. The color I got in Oryx Glow Lost is Selenite, which is the second lightest shade. The first lightest shade I think had more of a pink undertone, this one had more of a yellow undertone, so I thought this would be the one that worked for me. And the color I have in Charlotte Tilbury's Hollywood Flawless Filter is the light medium number three. I'm hoping they are comparable enough, they don't have to be the same because they're not the same product, but I feel like the colors will be sort of kind of comparable. By the way, if my voice sounds different in this video, it's because I have a little bit of a cold, so bear with me. Um, also, that might be why my nose is a bit more red than usual, but I feel good today. Yesterday, not so much. Anyways, I'm going to compare them in my favorite way to use them, basically. So when I use my Hollywood Flawless Filter, I apply a primer first and then I put this under my foundation on my cheeks and my forehead the center of my nose and my chin so places where i want my makeup to be very glowy and so i'm going to be doing the same thing with oryx glow lust and then on top of my foundation once i apply bronzer and uh, blush i'm going to also use them as a highlighter and so we'll compare which one shows through the foundation more and whatnot um, and how they both look at the end from what I can tell from using this one just once I feel like they're going to be pretty much very similar but we'll see because I actually haven't tried them side by side and then as far as the eyeshadows I am dying to try the temper eyeshadow color so that's what I'll be doing today um, and then again if you want to see Eagle just head over to my Instagram I have a little video of me using Eagle over there and I really liked it 
I had to take a phone call and I don't know if I already said what I was going to do but I think I did so I'm just going to go ahead and apply my Tatcha primer first because I just want something that is going to help blur my pores so I'm going to smooth it on my forehead and on my cheeks so now that I use my Tatcha primer I'm going to use Auric and I'm just going to blend it on this side of my face on my cheek and I just want this to give me a nice glowy effect on my cheek once I put my foundation over top and as you can see it has a little bit of coverage so it helps like with the appearance of my redness on my cheeks and I'm just blending it out with my finger a little here and I'll do my chin with Auric as well if you're someone who likes very glowy makeup and you like very sheer coverage foundation, you can definitely use it on its own because it does give you a lot of glow and a little bit of coverage. You can see that my cheek looks a little more red where I don't have it versus where I applied it right here. So on my other cheek, I'm going to use the Hollywood Flawless Filter. There is a bit of a color difference. I'm going to do it on my nose as well. And I'm just going to blend it in the same way. Okay, so this is what the Hollywood Flawless Filter looks like. Samantha Ravendahl said in her video that um, Auric had less glow than the Hollywood Flawless Filter. But I honestly can't tell much of a difference myself. Auric is definitely a bit of a thicker formula. Um, they don't feel sticky though. Neither one of them feels sticky. But as you can see, I feel like I can see a very similar amount of glow from both of them. For foundation, I'm going to use my Pat McGrath foundation. I wanted to use a foundation that had like a medium coverage versus a full so that some of the shine can show through the foundation. And I'm applying it with my Love is the Foundation brush. This is my favorite foundation brush of all time. And it's currently back in stock at It Cosmetics for Valentine's Day. So I'm going to leave you a link down below in case you guys have been interested in this one. It is a limited edition brush. So it usually is only available during the fall time for breast cancer awareness, I think it is. Uh, but they do have it available right now. So just check on the link down below if you are interested in getting yourself one. Because it is amazing for foundation. Okay, foundation is on and as you can see, you can still see a lot of that glow show through it on both cheekbones I'm hoping so because I can't really see this one, my viewfinder is on that side. Um, but I really like to use these types of product this way because it gives you a glow, a literal glow from within because it comes from within your foundation um, and it adds really nice glow to your face. I'm going to do concealer, contour, and blush off camera, and I'll be right back. I'm back, and I went ahead and finished up my face makeup because I didn't want this video to be too long, but this is what I used. I used my Full Cover Concealer by YSL under my eyes. I set that with a bit of the Pat McGrath Translucent Setting Powder, which I loved, and then I used my favorite Charlotte cheek products. I used my contour wand to contour a little bit, and then pillow talk blush is what you see on my cheekbones and a little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer as well. I wanted to fill you in on everything that I use but in any of my videos that I've uploaded for the past year or so if you ever have questions about things that I'm wearing check the description box of the video because most likely everything that I have on my face that day is going to be listed down below. I feel like I sound so boring with this congestive voice but you guys will let me know in the comments anyways. My hair is just getting better as this video progresses. Alright, so let's go back to these right over here and put them on as highlights so we can see how we feel about them. This is what my cheeks are looking like on both sides after I went ahead and applied the powder, bronzer, and blush over top of what I already had on. They still look pretty glowy, not as glowy as they were before because we did put powders on top. If you want to maintain that dew throughout the whole makeup look, you would have to use cream products on top. But I'm pretty happy with the way things look because it looks really nice and hydrated and now we're going to add some of that glow back by putting some over top of our makeup. So I have my Hollywood Flawless Filter here and I'm going to put some right here and I'm just going to blend it in with my fingers. Alright and this is how things look like on this side and now I'm going to apply the Glow by Auric side and so this is what this side is looking like right here. 
I feel like these are the perfect highlighting products for people who have more mature skin or people who just simply don't like to wear powder highlighters because they have some type of texture on their skin that they don't want to enhance, be it acne scars, um, current acne or wrinkles, whatever type of texture you have on your cheeks. I feel like these are going to be better highlighting ingredients for you because they look more natural, they look more like a glow from within than powder highlighters do. I'm going to do a little more blush because I feel like my cheeks look divided. <laughs> I was saying, and I quite like products like these, not just to use as highlighter, but also to put underneath my foundation or mixed in with my foundation so that my foundation has more of a glowy, dewy finish to it. I have very dry skin myself, so anything that is going to make my skin look more hydrated, I am all for it. As far as the comparison goes, I feel like they are just pretty comparable in general. Like, I feel like they do the same thing, act the same way. Um, I feel like the Glow by Auric is just a little bit more reflective, even though Samantha Ravindal, who created it, said the opposite. I'm curious now to watch other video comparisons and see how people feel because I feel like I can see the reflection on this side more than I can see it in this one but maybe it's because I can't see the side right so I'll like put a little note down here if I change my mind about that but anyways I do really like both of the products and as far as like packaging price and whatnot they're also very comparable there is just a one dollar difference between the two they both have really beautiful glass components and even though the glow by auric is one dollar more expensive it also brings 0.18 more product in the bottle so um i feel like that's just for you to choose depending on what you saw maybe you'll like one better than the other definitely worth mentioning that even though glow by auric did an amazing job at launch at being very inclusive and in releasing a bunch of different colors for their brand charlotte tilbury also just um updated their colors on the hollywood flawless filter and they have a lot of shades in it so that's definitely something else to have in mind now let's go ahead and get the eyeshadow because i am dying to try it so the eyeshadows are a duo. They have a cream base right over here at the bottom. This is the color Temper, which is the one that I am dying to use today. And then right here at the top, they have a shimmer powder that you can add over top. This is the color Ego, which is the other one that I bought, which again, I have shown on Instagram. So if you wanna see it in action, go check it out over there. I'm going to use the Sigma brush to apply it and again I'm going to start with the color Temper. So I'm just going to start by blending it all over my eyelid and I'm kind of tapping and dragging and then I'm going to just do windshield wiper motions on the crease of my eye with whatever's left on my brush. I have no idea what's going on outside my window but it is noisy out there so I am so sorry if the camera is picking that up. Alright so this is what things are looking like after I blended that color out. I'm going to go back with this same brush and just a little bit more and I'm just going to run it underneath my eye and connect it right here at the end. Same thing over here of course, I'm first just tapping it all over my eyelid. And I wouldn't grab too much of the cream, I think it's better to build it up than to apply too much and have to blend it down. So now I am little by little smoking it upwards just do windshield wiper motions on the crease and blending it underneath the eye. I've never had a product like this. I know that Tom Ford makes them and I think maybe Dose of Colors either used to make them or still makes them. But I really like that she created this because this is very minimalistic. Like legit, you could be done here and you have so much dimension on your eyes and it looks so pretty, just the cream on its own. And then if you just wanna add a bit more fun to your eye look which I'm always down for then just with your finger go on this like top shade and pat it over top of what you just did and literally that is it you're done and you have such a beautiful eye look okay check out the difference with the shimmer versus without the shimmer I'm going to do the shimmer on this side now and the shimmer is very buildable so you can do as little or as much as you want I've gone back quite a few times with my finger to build it up so that I have a lot because I like a lot. I'm going to use my Alter Ego brush in number two just to even it out a little bit up here. 
Okay, and this is pretty much the eye look right here. I am going to do a little bit of eyeliner. This is my Stylo Ux Waterproof Eyeliner from Chanel, and the number is 944. And I'm going to put this in my waterline. Besides putting it in my waterline, I'm going to grab a little bit of that with a bit of a small brush, and I'm just going to add a little depth to the outer corner here. This makes the smallest difference, but I think it looks really pretty. And I'm just kind of smudging it on the outer corner of my eye and into the outer V. Now for real, this is the eye look. I just added a bit of eyeliner and it gave it a little bit more depth. And I absolutely love the way that this came out. Let me do mascara and I'll be right back. I'm back with mascara on and this is the final look right here. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. I absolutely love the eyeshadows. And as far as the glow loss from Auric versus the Hollywood Flawless Filter from Charlotte Tilbury, I can't pick one. I feel like they're both amazing. They both do the same thing. Very similar packaging, very similar pricing. So let me know down below which one you guys liked better. If you have a preference, I think that they are so freaking similar. And so now let's do some lipstick. I do have a new lipstick to show you. This is a Happy Kiss from Charlotte Tilbury. I have mine in the color Pillow Talk. And Happy Kiss is a new formula of Charlotte Tilbury for lipsticks that just launched. They are rich in pigment, they are smoothing, and they are plumping. They have hyaluronic acid, so they are extremely hydrating lipsticks with quite a bit of colors. They come in a beautiful array of shades, um, and I'll just be applying mine in the Pillow Talk shade today because I'm basic and that's my favorite. I'm going to use the Pillow Talk lip liner first, and now I'm going to use my Happy Kiss and Pillow Talk. These turn up, but they don't turn back down, so don't try and like go all the way up with them. And you'll see very full of pigment very shiny I really love lip products like these because you don't need a gloss it's like a lipstick and a gloss had a baby very hydrating in my training with Charlotte it says that they are supposed to smooth your lips and plump your lips which is always nice and fun and I really love the colors they came out with my favorite one of course the pillow talk one I think is just such a flattering color if you guys are interested in trying this formula i'm leaving a link down below but besides that if you want to you can contact me on my instagram and i can ship them to you from the store that i work at um, that way the counter that i work at gets credit and you guys get gifts because i always have little gifts with purchase at the counter which you can't always get online so contact me send me your charlotte tilbury order and i can ship the products to you and give you nice little gifts with your purchase so my instagram is down below and you can just send me a message and I'll get back to you on that so that is it for this video I really hope that you guys liked the comparison between the products I am dying to know what you guys think so please let me know down below which product you would pick over the other and I really love these eyeshadows that they created these are such a great eyeshadow to have to use on a daily basis because it takes no effort you don't have to think about what you're doing and you get a beautiful look at the end of the day so i'm absolutely loving everything i bought from oryx so i definitely recommend them and if you guys are interested i also recommend the new happy kiss lipsticks by charlotte tilbury i really hope that you guys liked the video if you did don't forget to please give it a thumbs up before you leave don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet i love you all so much and i hope to see you back in my next video bye Bye.